Although Erin had come out of the anesthetic with no ill effects and her baby appeared to be healthy, she was still concerned. So even though I was overjoyed, it was a part of me that thought there's been so many patterns of bad things, hopefully there's nothing wrong with him. <sighs> they put him on antibiotic drips and we stayed a little bit longer just to make sure the baby was fine. Hello. The baby was perfectly healthy. Erin and Richard named him Evan Raymond. It was pretty amazing to see him without any prenatal care, to see him as this beautiful little bundle of health. Up. It was amazing. Upper is the word. Upper. He's completely healthy and normal. Upper, upper, upper. But how could Emma not have known that she was pregnant? Upper is a pizza. Upper is the pizza. If you were in a place that was kind of dark, you wouldn't know yet. I had seen Aaron maybe two or three days before the baby was born. I didn't notice anything different at all. Two tattoo. Tata. Key tap. was conceived in May while she was on the contraceptive pill. At the same time, she was taking And the red. It's so light. So, see? Looking back, I'm pretty sure the reason why I did get pregnant was because I was on antibiotics and I was on the pill and they counteracted each other. In hindsight, there were several clues to Erin's pregnancy. She had gained four and a half kilos, but thought it was due to her recovery. My clothing size did change. I had lost weight. So, what are you doing today? Da Daddy, love you. See. Love you too. Hey, um, do you know what time it is? Make sure you're aware. Yeah. All these tests are saying no, so I just kept on taking them to reassure my mind that I wasn't. A blood test for pregnancy is much more sensitive and much more accurate than a urine hey, test, mostly this because is it's less subject to human error. All these symptoms could be equated to something that was already going on prior to being pregnant. Error, Jessica. She had also noticed another small change. I noticed some skin changes. I never had the line from the the belly button down to your pelvic bone, but I did get more stretch marks, but I was gaining weight and losing weight at rapid speeds. So once again, I just thought, ah, oh, it's because I gained more weight this month than I should have, because I'm eating more. Looking this back, is good. there was one symptom that would have been obvious if all her pregnancy tests hadn't been negative. I was sitting reclined in a recliner at my house, watching TV and I had the remote on my stomach. And I felt what was a gas, what I thought was a gas bubble move through my belly, and the remote literally flew off of my stomach at the time. And I just thought, oh, well, that's the worst case of gas I've ever had. And I never thought I'd be uh, different of it because I didn't feel what would be a kick. Thankfully, Erin hadn't smoked or drunk heavily during her pregnancy. I don't smoke, so no, I never smoked during my pregnancy. I did drink a little this bit. This is a long video. Two mm -hmm. and at both of them I had a little bit more than you should, but that's the only two times I can think about. I do drink probably a glass of wine every other day, I would say, and it's white wine usually. So um, I wasn't too concerned about my alcohol consumption because I'm not a partier. She was I concerned, was however, about not having had any antenatal care. Throughout the years, you hear that you need to take vitamins. Antenatal, prenatal. I was concerned that I hadn't had any blood work done to make sure that not only 